Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and this is going to be a little realistic after work routine, after work vlog. So I work a 9 to 5 job in accounting, consulting type of work and I was working from home today but I just got off. It's about 5.30. I put on my t-shirt because I have a kickball game. So I think I told you we've only played one game so far. The last game we did, we tied. So, which we were we were all happy with the tie, and we were honestly so close to winning. I mean, obviously, if you're tied, you're close to winning, but you're also close to losing. But I, we were all like, you want to know what? I am satisfied with the tie because I did not have very high expectations going into it. I am a little bit nervous. I'm not as nervous as last time. Last time I was nervous. But, I don't know. I guess it depends how our competition is. If the other team's, like, really freaking good, then that might suck. But if they're, like, average, we're pretty average. So There are two leagues, though. There's, like, a competitive league and, like, a rec league. Obviously, I joined the rec league. I was like, guy, when, my, when me and my friends were shining up, I was like, guys, do it. Whatever you do... Don't sign up for the competitive league. I want to see your team. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Nice, Hannah. Let's eat that. My friends tell me, like, Miles Teller. Guys, we just got home from kickball, and not to brag, but we won. So, we won 3-2, to two, but... We did, so basically the first game that we technically won, the other team like forfeited because I think they must have like not had enough people or something. So we got like a text in the morning that the other team forfeited. So that technically is a win for us. And then our first game we actually played, we tied. And then today we won. So also my friend Mackenzie gave me Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. 
I'm really excited. I thought for some reason, I swear in the pictures, it looked so much thicker. It's not even that thick. It doesn't even look that thick at all. Yeah, so. I've read It Ends With Us and I've read November 9th. I liked both of them. I liked November 9th better. I actually love November 9th. Like November 9th is like so good. So I feel like this one probably won't be better than November 9th, but um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna shower. So after the game, we went to Blind Goat in Tampa. We got a drink. I got a little like cheesy bread thing because I was planning on making Hello Fresh. I have some Hello Fresh meals because I forgot to cancel it during the hurricane. So I have some left over. I mean, I'm not hungry tonight, but I'm wondering if there's one that I can make and then eat it for lunch tomorrow. I can at least like prep some of the, maybe I'll just prep some of the vegetables tonight. So that way tomorrow I can just like cook it. Cause what takes me a lot of, t a lot of time sometimes is chopping them up. I just showered and brushed out my hair. I'm going to do my skincare, but I honestly keep it really simple. So during the day, I'll maybe use like super goop sunscreen and some kind of moisturizer. Sometimes those like tinted moisturizer drops I showed you earlier. I'm like extremely pale right now. I normally like spray tan, like maybe like once a week or something. But with the hurricane, like this whole last week and stuff, I my first priority during a hurricane was not to get a spray tan. So I'm just extremely pale right now. But I keep it pretty simple. So for tonight, I'm just going to use one product and keep it super simple. This is the Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum. This is what it looks like. It says apply one to two pumps in the evening to clean dry skin. So I just do two pumps because I also bring it onto my neck. So I do two pumps but yeah that's it i'm i keep it pretty simple sometimes like maybe i'll do like under eye cream or something but lately i've been doing like usually one like max two products because i feel like i do hear a lot that like it's really easy to like overdo it with the skincare so just like keep it simple and that will be good it's almost 10 o'clock now so i'm not gonna do the meal prep tonight because honestly I'm just like already really tired and I just don't think it's a very good idea. So we're not gonna do that. I had some packages that I thought that I would show you guys. The first two was nothing crazy. I just got another fitted sheet and then some more pillowcases from Target because if you've seen any of my videos, you might've heard me complain about the fact that I don't have a washer and dryer in my unit and yeah, it makes it a pain. And so it's just nice to have an extra pair of sheets because then, you know, even if my sheets, I wanna change them, like I don't have to, cause right now what I do is like, I'll wash my sheets and then like dry them and then put them back on the bed. And now it's like, I could take off the dirty sheets put the new ones on and then wash the other ones whenever I have a chance. So, I mean, probably common sense to have more than one pair of sheets, but for some reason I did not. So <laughs> this next thing is from Amazon. It's just this little black skirt and it has a little slit oh, on this side. I don't know if you can tell. It's like right here. There's just like a little cutout, just like that. You can kind of see if I do it with my hand. It's hard to tell cause it's all black, but yeah, just a black little skirt. I think this is like 30 bucks or something. And I feel like it is just like a good basic. I mean, it doesn't feel like amazing quality, but like for the amount I'll wear, I'll basically just wear it like if I'm going out and I think it will be really cute and I'll definitely get some use out of it. So I will link that below it's from Amazon. And this last thing is very exciting. This is from the MLS sounders team store so i live in tampa but if you don't know i'm from seattle and i'm a very big um seattle sounders fan people always ask me like about the seahawks and stuff and i'm like i mean i don't like dislike the seahawks like if the seahawks are playing i'd be like oh like i hope they win but like i also don't really care about them but okay 
yeah but I love the Sounders I really like the Mariners and the Seahawks I'm kind of indifferent to so this first thing I'm pretty sure this was on sale yeah both these things were this just says Seattle Sounders professional soccer it's like a distressed kind of t-shirt and it has like the more OG logo and it has the orca whale so yeah it's just like a large um it's kind of like a charcoal like distressed t-shirt and i just think that's cute you can't even really tell that much that it's like sounders it's like really distressed i don't love this like if i saw this in person i maybe wouldn't buy it but um i liked it online and like i'll keep it like it was on sale this next thing I really hope works if this is good it's gonna be so good I got a large because I wanted it to be oversized and I didn't know if it would naturally be oversized or not oh yeah I think large was a good choice because it does not look oversized maybe I'll show you it before I unbutton it it is a denim jacket and right here above the sleeve it has little embroidered seattle sounders and has the space needle and the back i love so it has green and blue and then it says seattle sounders fc oh my gosh it's so cute i actually love it i couldn't fit like a sweatshirt or anything under this but by itself it like fits perfect and then i love the back that it says has that embroidered? It's so cute. I love it.